Did she turn down the promotion? Why would you do that? Well, maybe if you don't have the skills for that promotion and you lied to get the job, that'd be a pretty good reason to, like, say, yeah, no, promotion's not going to work for me. So Gracie hit us up and she lied on her resume about certain skills in order to get a job. But her best friend had worked there already and knew she wouldn't need those skills to actually do the job. It would just look super impressive to the people hiring. (laughs) So in any case, she had 100% planned on learning those skills eventually because they would be useful in her field. Well, the problem is she's been asking for a raise and her boss says, there's no room in the budget for a raise, but I'm going to give you a promotion instead. (laughs) And you think that would be good news because with the promotion came more money, but she's going to have to use those skills that she lied about on the resume in order to do that. Did she tell you on Friday what the job was and what skills they were talking about? No, no, okay. she didn't. But the boss, of course, has no idea that she lied about knowing those skills. And for him, there's zero reason for her to turn down this promotion because she's getting more money like she wanted. Especially, yeah, she's been asking over and over and over again, right? So our advice was... Which I found funny. You had time to ask for a raise, but you didn't have time to ask for these, you know, to learn these skills. Okay. So our, <laughs> our advice was to take the job, but buckle down and teach yourself like really hardcore how to do these skills because most of the time, by the time they figure out that you don't know how to do what you're doing, you've already learned and you can do it. Um, And that's where we left it. Yeah, we all basically said fake it till you make it. Like, accept it. But you're going to have to, like, really buckle down and figure out these skills. Again, we don't know what she's doing or what kind of skills we're talking about here. I don't know if it's archery. I don't know if it's horseback riding. (laughs) But, I mean... (laughs) You guys are way smarter than me because I don't know that I could um, learn all those skills enough to like really be proficient at it. Like once I got the job, I'm gonna look like a complete fool. But Mo says there's a lot of jobs where on the job learning is a thing. Yeah, you, I mean, that's a skill you realize you gotta develop one way or another. Eventually you're gonna have to learn a lot on the job. So, I mean, sometimes you just gotta be confident enough to know that you can pull it off. Okay. <laughs> well, what happened was, thanks for all the advice. I'm surprised the resume lying isn't as common as I thought it was. After hearing that all of you, except Mo, had never lied on your resume. Even Mo's lies seem pretty minor, so I guess moving forward, I won't be doing that. Thanks for not judging me too harshly in that regard. As for my current situation, I'm going to go for it just like you suggested. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> do you not foresee that, this that going well? Uh, uh, Bring out Bert's crystal ball. What do I you see know. there? I don't know. Maybe she's, we don't know what the job is, so who knows who you guys just put at risk. Maybe it's a pilot. <laughs> oh, I didn't think about that. <laughs> yeah, we probably should have asked that or one. Or somebody in the medical field. You, there's no way. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, that's different. Okay. There's well. no way. First of all, you would have to have certifications. <laughs> True. They're not going to let people come in there willy-nilly be like, I know how to mm-hmm. do open heart surgery. <laughs> I'm going to learn on the job. No, there okay. are accreditations. This is, okay. I'm guessing this is like, no. Nope. Mm, you know how to use Excel, but you don't know how to use Salesforce or something like some other program. That's that you what can you're teach assuming. Yourself. That is what we are assuming. That yeah. is a safe if, assumption. If anybody dies on the job today anywhere in the country, oh, you boy. guys are probably responsible. No, Get there here. are safeguards <laughs> in place. We're fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I already told my boss on Friday that I'd like to accept the position. However, I asked if I could start after a much needed vacation. I already had a vacation scheduled for the first week in February. I told him that I would need the next couple weeks to wrap up my current position and hand it off to someone new. I also told him that I didn't want to start in a new position working closely with new people and all of a sudden be out for a week. So he agreed, this is a very understanding boss, that I could start after vacation. I've canceled the trip that I was planning to take that week. Mm. I've also researched and signed up for some online program to learn these skills. I think between my free time over the next few weeks and then the entire week that I'm off, I should be able to learn (laughs) enough of these particular skills to get by. I could even use the excuse that I was a bit rusty since I haven't needed to use the skills in my old position. Bottom line, I think I can do this. Thanks so much for the encouragement, and I'll let you know how it all goes. Look, the fact that she's taking this thing so seriously Uh and she's going to cancel her vacation to learn how to become um, a heart doctor. (laughs) A cardiologist is the word you're looking for. I don't know words today. I have no words today. (laughs) A doctor of the heart. Okay. (laughs) You make it sound like it's some kind of call-in radio show, the heart doctor. That's, That's not the guy when performing like, surgery on me. It's like love life. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I mean, the fact that she's taking it so seriously indicates to me, like, 
She's gonna she's gonna knock this out of the park. Here's to hoping. Yeah. Yeah, her first open heart surgery is gonna be a success. <laughs> Hopefully she lands that plane, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how did you not even ask the question? I'm like, what it was it? an email. What were we supposed to do? We weren't talking to her on the phone. Right. <laughs> it's impossible to give advice without those details. Well, well we did. We did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, it was a Friday going into a long weekend. Yep. It was the last break of the show. Yep. We didn't care. <laughs> we're still, we're still it. learning on the job, okay? All right. That's fine. I get it. I get it. The Burt Show. So, first, thanks for watching. Second, you like what you just watched? That just scratches the surface. Get The Burt Show on any podcast platform. We're so good.